The Kirby games usually had some sort of small innovation made to each game that gave new options that were not available in other Kirby games. Usually they were unique to that game alone, like in Kirby's Dream Land 2, Kirby could ride on animals to help run faster, fly better, and swim more easily. Kirby Superstar was actually eight games combined into one awesome one. But when you get right down to it, shouldn't Kirby games just be about eating everything in sight? Yes. Yes, they should. Fortunately, HAL Laboratories took this and just threw it all over Kirby 64, the Crystal Shards. On, of course. <laughs> now, the story goes something like this. There's a magical crystal, and it does something about something, but, you know, it doesn't really matter in this game. All Craig cares about is in Kirby 64, you got the awesome copy and combine gameplay. Observe. You can copy an enemy's ability like any other Kirby game, but you can also remove said ability, throw it at a second enemy, and ingest an entirely different move altogether! He's on ice skates, it's so cute! And awesome! This is by far the most fun aspect of the entire game, so don't even worry about the rest of the crap. Just trying out the different combinations and seeing what you get is totally a good time. Sometimes it's awesome. Sometimes it's really cool, like this giant flame sword, and other times it's just silly. Like, take a guess at what you get when you combine uh, ice and electricity. Oh yeah, that's right, a refrigerator. Eat food, you monsters! Yeah, that'll teach them. However, there is one combination that is by far the most what the hell is going on worthy of them all. It's part hilarious, and it's part amazing. I call it... The Oh My the God oh Raffle Copter Epic, Epic Explosion Rock of Wind. All you need to do is combine the rock powers with the electricity powers, and you've got one amazingly cool weapon that destroys all. And that, in a nutshell, describes what makes the Crystal Shards such a fun game to play. You know, after toying around with the 35 different combinations available in this game, I wonder what I'd get if I started combining random crap together.